But Christmas and the holiday season will be here sooner than you might think. And of course, our friends at Light FM Chicago are starting early. They're going to start playing Christmas music tomorrow at 4 p.m. They just made the huge announcement. And joining us with more is morning show host Melissa Foreman. Melissa, tomorrow, huh? Tell us all about it. It's tomorrow, Sylvia. Well, we made a big announcement this morning at 820, and that was that, yes, Christmas will be arriving at 93.9 <laughs> Light FM tomorrow around 4 o'clock, so make sure you're listening. Big question is still, though, I have no idea what the first song is going to okay. be. That's always a big hubbub every year. I right. have no idea. Okay, how does that happen if you have no idea? Is it just how you're feeling at the moment, or there's a vote taken? How does that work? <laughs> Mick Lee, the program director... <laughs> who has the direct connection to Santa. Oh. He just knows what we're supposed to be feeling this year. So uh, we shall see. That's, That's what's going to go. And people make bets. Sylvia, we have a group of like six guys. They're all in their 20s. They have a steak dinner. Okay. Bet on what the first song is, the date and the time. And it's, it. it's hilarious. I love it. That is so awesome. Okay, I want to talk about what kind of reaction you're already getting to this. Yeah, people, you know, people are excited. They always are. You know, Christmas, the holidays, they're inevitable. I know some people celebrate later or earlier than others. Um, but I think we've realized that in this day and age that it's the one thing that could really bring us all together. And you get into the car or you're at the office with your family and your friends or your coworkers and you hear it and it just brings you back to life and back to childhood. Yeah. And um, we, we really, truly realized. We knew way back when we started this 21 years ago. But now more than ever, how much it brings people together. It certainly does. Okay, 21 years. I think I ask you this question every year when we do this segment, and I hope I don't put you on the spot. What's the earliest you've started the Christmas music? Okay, the earliest yes. I have the answer Yay. is uh, this November 2nd in 2006 and in 2007. Okay. So I think that year, if I remember, it was really cold that year. It started to snow early. Mm -hmm. And so I remember that they were like, let's just do it. Let's go for it. The latest we started is way back when we began was in 2001. We started November 23rd, which now I laugh as like, you know, yeah, you, you know, how could you get the spirit? You need a, you know, a good month right. or so to get you it. You know what, though? That is yeah. so representative of how Christmas has changed over time. Because when we were growing up, you know, I remember putting the tree up on Christmas Day, you know, and as time has gone on, Christmas starts coming earlier and earlier in some part because the retailers know, hey, we can really get them in others because as you said, I think it brings people so much joy, right? Yeah, and you know, it's a big production. There's a lot of people who pull out all of the lights and, you know, all of the, the, de the decorations that they need for their home. and. You know, why not take the time to celebrate something that you love and adore for, you know, a great many days as opposed to just rushing it to one or two. It makes you happy um, much so longer. I, that's why. What was that? I said it makes you happy much longer. Sorry to interrupt. Okay, final question Hi. for you, my friend. What is the most requested Christmas song that you always end up playing? You know this, Sylvia. I think I do. You yeah, okay, what do you think this is? All you know I, the answer to this. All I want for Christmas is you, Melissa Foreman. <laughs> all I want is you, Sylvia. All I want is you. I have your hats. Every okay. year I get Sylvia a bunch of hats with these ladies. Like, I'm so ready for you. Okay, next. Um, but yes. Go ahead. Next year. I do want to say also the big thing that everybody's waiting for is you know that Elton John and Ed Sheeran have teased this Christmas duet oh, together. Right. I think this might be one. Ooh. I heard little bits of it. Okay. This. This may challenge Mariah Carey. No. I'm not kidding. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, will I be able to hear that tomorrow when I tune in around 4-ish? Well, I tune in to you all the time, but. Yeah, whenever okay. Elton's ready. Oh, whenever Elton, Elton is Elton. ready. When he's ready to release it, that's the minute we'll put it well, on. Well, your boss has a connection to Santa, and I think you have a connection to Elton. Melissa Foreman, always a pleasure to see you, my friend. You make me happy, oh. Christmas or not. Thank you for joining me this morning. You too, Sylvia. Okay. You know I love you. Say hi to Fox family. I and will Merry do. Christmas, everybody. I Merry hope all your wishes come true this year. Thank you, Melissa.